Hi, I'm Jenny from Wispot Bang, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make some edible coral polyps. Uh, uh, so this is from our Remarkable Reefs edition of Wispot Bang, um, and this is just a nice practical uh, uh, demonstration of coral polyps. So first we're going to chop off a slice of banana, a sort of wide slice of banana, about three centimetres like this. Uh, um, and then you're just going to make a little hole in it, which you can do with your finger or you can do with a cocktail stick. A little hole in the middle and that represents the mouth of the polyp. So its food will go in there down to its stomach. And then we're going to make some little holes around. Let's make six little holes. And these are for its tentacles to go in. So coral polyps have um, stinging tentacles that they use to catch their prey. So we're using a gummy lace to represent those stinging tentacles. So just chop it into pieces. So let's do six pieces. Two, four, six and let's put those in it sometimes it might help if to use the cocktail stick to just squeeze them in nice wiggly waggly tentacles you don't want to be caught in these if you're a fish or actually if you were just diving uh, they might sting you so you should never touch anything if you're diving or snorkeling because it can damage the coral. So these are our stinging tentacles going in, which are a little bit fiddly, but nearly done. Uh -uh. Okay, last one going in. There we go, it's starting to look a little more polyp like now and that's sitting on the this biscuit base which is the seabed and the polyp attaches itself onto there which the banana is quite sticky so that sticks quite nicely and then we're just going to get another biscuit and break that up into little pieces and put that around the soft polyp so these ones go around the edge and this represents the calcite that builds up around the polyp and helps protect it so it's soft and squidgy so this is nice and firm and hard and it'll just help protect like that okay and then the final touch is to add a bit of coloured sugar. So I just mixed a few drops of food colouring in with some granulated white sugar to make some green colour. And this represents the algae, which actually lives inside the coral polyp, but we're going to put on the outside so you can see the colour. And it's the algae that gives the coral polyps their colour. So we're choosing a nice green one. There we go, yummy. And now we can add that in true Blue Peter fashion to the ones we made earlier to make our whole coral polyp reef. We can even add in some little shrimps getting caught in the tentacles. Oh no. Ah. There we go.